Facebook Home leaks early to the masses. The Nokia Lumia 928 gets leaked in photos, and Google might actually buy WhatsApp. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I know, I know, I hate Mondays too, but this is Pocket Now Daily. That's right, Facebook Home could not keep their launch for April 12th under wraps as Motoko figured out how to pull the APK and then distribute it on its website. We actually even gave it a try and bottom line, it is quite beautiful. Not sure if it's useful, but it is quite beautiful so far. We'll keep you posted on that. We wanted to give you a full video coverage on how it is, but sadly it's now being blocked by the server, so we'll keep you posted. April 12th is coming soon. Now let's talk about the Nokia Lumia 928 for Verizon that was recently leaked in photos in both black and white. And yes, if I'm giving you colors, that's because this is not the Lumia catwalk that's been rumored to be made out of metal. This is actually a black and a white polycarbonate phone that keeps the specs of the Lumia 920, looks a lot like the Lumia 720, but it does include a Xenon flash, which is actually awesome. So we'll keep you posted when this phone reaches the market. Sadly, we still don't have any specific your dates. Now let's talk about Samsung and their rumored S Orb camera software. If you were wondering what was that leak recently, well, it's just a new way to take a 360 panoramic photo, which you can actually already do with some applications for free. You can actually even do it on Android 4.2.2 because it is included out of the box. So it makes us wonder what Samsung planning to improve with this new service, or why would they want to invent the wheel here if Android already does it in 4.2.2. But still, we'll keep you posted because apparently this will come out on the Galaxy Note 3 as an exclusive feature. The question is why. Now let's move over to Google as some recent leaked photos show us the new Google Play Store, which is version 4.0 and which brings a new immersive and simplistic UI to their Google Play Store. Hopefully that's something we can also see in the next version of Android if it can get any more simplistic than it already is. But the hot news here is that we've got some leaked photos of Babel or Babel, or Babel as we say in Spanish, and the point being is that apparently this is the code name for their new messaging service, which is unified to supersede Google Talk, which was kind of overdue for change, and I really wonder where they came up with the name, whatever, Babel, Babel, whatever you want to call it. I'd call it Google Talk if they could, but still, it did require revamp. We'll keep you posted. Google I.O. is happening in May, and most probably this is when we'll see these changes. And finally, for the terrifying news of the day, we've got recent rumors that Google might be acquiring the WhatsApp messaging service. And for those of you that don't know what it is, well, you most probably don't own a smartphone, but I'd call this one of the best, if not the best, cross-platform messaging service that allows you to connect with pretty much everybody, Windows Phone, iOS, Blackberry, even the old Blackberries, and Android, and even some other smartphones out there, which is actually awesome. But, well, Facebook wanted to buy the service in December, and then Google is now apparently trying to buy the service, but Apparently, WhatsApp wants a billion bucks. And I do understand them. I mean, it's a very successful service. And well, that leads me to the question of the day. Which is your favorite messaging service right now? Which is the one that you most use? In my particular case, I'd say WhatsApp. And I'm just worried about the fact that Google might buy it since I can't imagine WhatsApp with ads all over it where I actually have to pay for the application, which just doesn't make any sense. But leave us a comment down below. Which is your favorite service? And of course, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.